Hey everybody, my name is John. Welcome to another edition of the old Zone 1 Beer Club. Uh, this afternoon we're going to be looking at one I thought I had reviewed before and I haven't, so we're going to throw one up since I have uh, the beer in hand. Uh, what we're looking at is a budget beer. It's a light beer. It's 105 calories. comes in at 4.2% ABV, uh, which is a pretty typical uh, light beer. What we're looking at that bad boy right there from Costco Kirkland Signature Series Light Beer uh, some people call it budget beer uh, I guess if that's what you want to call it that's fine with your membership to Costco unless you buy a lot of these and you go down there quite a bit it really is not a budget beer because your Costco membership is going to cost you quite a bit of money for a year and uh it's like 50 bucks a year or something like that. So, I mean, unless you are only going to there once or twice, uh, you're not really getting a bang for your buck out of this. If you've got quite a bit, you're going to get a bang for your buck out of this. These comes in a big old 48 pack case for $22, uh, which is a humongous big. It's big. But, uh, so let's take a look at it. I'll show you what I see here. Uh, the head dissipated pretty quickly. It, it's your typical golden light adjunct uh, light beer. Uh, not much more you can say about that. I mean, the carbonation is pretty good. It's got some pretty good bubbles coming up. You can see there. Uh, this is made uh, what a lot of your contract beers are made up in Monroe, Wisconsin. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of beers from Monroe, Wisconsin. Some are good, some are not so good. But overall, I mean, their beers are not bad. They're better than what they was back years ago. Like I said, I've had this beer numerous times. It, it's enjoyable. It's not one that I want to sit down and uh, just drink week after week after week. So I, I think you'd get tired of them, maybe, unless you like that particular taste in a light beer. Uh, What I found on the Kirkland Signature Series Light is, is to me the, the taste is a taste that you get from the light beers that was maybe back in the 80s. Uh, it's kind of got that mouth feel. It's, to me, it, it's a heavier mouth feel than your typical light beer has, but quite enjoyable. Uh, it's got kind of a back taste in it. That, that you got from those beers back in back in the mid to late 80s uh, but overall it, it, it's a good light beer I mean you, you get the adjunct smells in it you get the adjunct look in it you get everything about this beer is your stereotypical adjunct light beer But let's get back on the budget beers for a minute because this, like I said, this is twenty-two dollars for a forty-eight pack. It's an enjoyable beer. It tastes good. It's got a different taste. Uh, but I'm going to put this up against another budget beer that I've had quite a few of here lately. It's called Rockdale Light from Walmart. Uh, let me specifically put this to a point uh, between the two beers. If I was to put the Kirkland Light against the Rockdale Light, which is made at the same exact place, I'm going to say, like I said a few months ago, this this to me tastes like a throwback beer from the 80s, uh, where more of your Rockdale Light tastes like a beer that is being brewed today. That might sound kind of funny to some, but if you didn't drink the light beers back in the 80s, you may not understand what I'm talking about. But for a price point, uh, like I said, you have to pay for the Costco membership to get the 48 beers for $22. Or you can go to Walmart and pick up a case for $9.96, I believe is what it is, for Rockdale Light, which was the last price that I paid for. Uh, but overall, I mean, this is a, this is a good beer. It's not an awesome light beer, but it's a good light beer. Uh, if somebody was to look at me and say, 
you know, what do you think the Kirk, Kirkland Signature light beer tastes like? If I was to honestly give it a pretty solid taste test, I would say if you took a Colt 45 and put light underneath of it, that's what this would be. I believe this is almost a Colt 45 like taste with it, it's it's real sweet I think like a Colt 45 it's got that vinegary type back feel in the mouth that you get from that particular beer uh, but, uh, some people probably don't know oh, you're crazy you don't know what you're talking about but to me that that's what this beer tastes like is a Colt 45 light uh, which is that a bad no it's probably not a bad thing but if I was to pick one of the two more budget type beers of Costco or Walmart, I would probably have to say I believe I'd go with a Walmart brand. It's about a buck cheaper a case, but I think I enjoy the taste of the of the Rockdale Light a little bit better. And in that regards, because I think it's more of an up to date taste of what a light beer tastes like. So if, if you're on a budget or, or, or you don't have a whole lot of money, and I'm, I'm thinking the Rockdale Light is the way to go. Uh, I had a case last week, and, and I don't think they're bad. I got a 48-pack of this. Uh, I don't think they're too bad. But for a spot-on taste of which one I prefer, I'm going with the Rockdale Light. Uh, after it's 100 degrees and I've been mowing or weed-eating or something, or out washing my car, uh, this might not be a bad one, but I'm going to prefer the, the Rockdale Light as a more of a, of a better tasting, not say this is a bad tasting, but for a better tasting light beer on a budget, I'm going with the Rockdale. Uh, that's just me. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, but overall, you know, I mean, to give this beer an overall score of a 1 to 5 or an A to Z or whatever I mean I'm going to score a pretty solid C plus because you know I mean it's not bad it's it's just a good old light beer I think it tastes like one from back decades ago I mean, if you like that taste uh, you're going to really enjoy this I mean but uh Overall, I mean, yeah, Kirkland's, Costco, if you get a chance, get it, if not, you might be missing out on probably one of the best light beers you drink, but to me, it's just an average C plus light beer, and that's a pretty low score for me because I usually score higher on light beers, but hey, these aren't for everybody, and everybody's not for these, but uh Drink what you enjoy. Enjoy what you do. I'm John. Zone 1. Have a good one, guys.